entire lesson on generating a sequence using a formula. We have our formula 6n plus 2. When n is equal to 1, this is our first term in the sequence. And this means 6 times n. So we have 6 lots of 1 plus 2. 6 lots of 1 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So our first term in our sequence is 8. The second term in our sequence is when n is equal to 2. So we have 6 lots of 2 plus 2. 6 lots of 2 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 is the second number in our sequence. The third term in our sequence is when n is equal to 3. We have 6 lots of 3 plus 2. 18 plus 2 is equal to 20. Now you might notice that our sequence goes up by 6 every time. So we can predict using our pattern and this term will be 26. And this term will be 26 add 6, which is 32. We can check if this works. We can substitute in n is equal to 5. So a fifth term in our sequence will be 6 lots of 5 plus 2. 6 lots of 5 is 30. 30 plus 2 is 32. So you can see our sequence is correct. Okay, let's try the next one. So now our sequence has a formula 8 minus 3n. When n is equal to 1, that will be our fifth term in the sequence. So we have 8 minus 3 lots of 1. 8 minus 3 is 5. So 5 is the first term in our sequence. When n is equal to 2, we have our second term, which is 8 minus 3 lots of 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. And our third term, when n is equal to 3, 8 minus 3 lots of 3. 8 minus 9 is negative 1. Again, we can check that this works. The constant difference is minus 3. So one take away, negative 1 take away 3 is negative 4. And negative 4 take away 3 is negative 7. And this negative 3 comes from the negative 3n. We can check if this works. Using n is equal to 5, we should get negative 7. We have 8 minus 3 lots of 5. 8 minus 15 does make negative 7. So we know this is correct. Okay, let's try some more questions. So do you want to generate the first five terms of each of these sequences? by part in the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, so we have 3n minus 4. When n is equal to 1, our first term is 3 lots of 1 minus 4, which is negative 1. Our second term, when n, when n is equal to 2, we have 3 lots of 2 minus 4. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. And when n is equal to 3, 3 lots of n minus 4 is 5. And we can continue our sequence using a pattern. We know we are adding 3 every time. That comes from this 3 here. So we have 8 and 11. We'll check that when n is equal to 5. 3 lots of 5 minus 4. 15 minus 4 does make 11. Okay, let's move on to n squared plus 1. So n squared plus 1. So when n is equal to 1, we have 1 squared plus 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. When n is equal to 2, we have 2 squared plus 1. 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. When n is equal to 3, we have 3 squared plus 1, 9 plus 1 is 10. 
We can now use a pattern to continue our sequence. 2 add 3 makes 5. 5 add 5 makes 10. Here we're adding 2. So we're going to add 2 again to make 7. So we're going to have 17. We're going to add 9 for our next one. And that will be 26. Okay, thank you. We can check that this works by substituting in n is equal to 5. We have 5 squared plus 1. 25 plus 1 does make 26. So we know this is right. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you find that useful. Thanks again and take care.